Hi everybody! I know that I just recently did a belt video, but I do have another belt I've been wanting to show you and also quickly compare to my other everyday carry belts. This really nice leather belt was handmade by Zach, the owner of Zach's Gun Belts, and it is just beautifully crafted. Uh, Zach makes all his belts right here in the USA down in Georgia. And if you have a few minutes at the end of this video, I will put a really cool link below to Zach actually making one of his belts from start to finish in sort of a fast forward style video. And I thought that was really neat. And after watching it, I thought it gave my belt a more personal feel since I know exactly how he made it, which is really cool. I'll also put a link below to his website, zachsgunbelts.com. And I do have to say, I really like his site. It's very simple and easy to navigate, and he has a lot of custom belt photos in his gallery. And he also has a lot of photos on his Facebook page, so I will link you to that too. For pricing, one of these belts does cost a little bit more than some other gun belts out there. Zach's belts are roughly $80 to $100, whereas the Amerahide belts that I showed previously range from $60 to $90. But the main difference is that Zach's belts are completely customizable. And that's what I like best about Zach's belts. You get to pick every single detail and he has a lot of different choices. So to give you an idea of what exact details you get to choose, I picked black for my leather, emerald green for my thread color, oval for the holes, and my buckle is the S3 buckle on his site, which is a black nickel buckle. Um, I also picked a one and a half inch belt width. And for hole spacing, I chose nine holes spaced three quarters of an inch apart. Oh, and I also chose single stitching for my thread, which left the belt nice and flexible, although it is still super sturdy. And it's constructed with two pieces of leather and it feels very durable. The stitching is absolutely flawless and the leather feels very soft and thick. And all of the parts, including the buckle, feel like very nice quality. Um, there are a few bubbles on the inside of the leather, mainly just around the holes. Um, nothing bad, though, and nothing is coming apart, but it's just something that I noticed. Um, I absolutely love the emerald green on the black with the black buckle. I do think that it is a really unique look, and I've never seen emerald green stitching on a belt or this buckle before, so I think it's really great. It also came in this cloth bag that was wrapped with twine, which was a really nice touch. And he also wrapped my belt in green tissue paper that matched the thread color, so that was really fun too. For the options that he has available, I'll try to go over them quickly just in case you're curious just how customizable these belts are. He currently has four different belt widths, seven different leather colors, nine different thread colors, 17 different buckles, and six different hole configurations you could choose from. So for belt widths, you can get either one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters, and two inches. For leather colors, he has two shades of black, four shades of brown, and also a natural leather color. Um, for top thread colors, there is black, white, red, green, blue, yellow, natural, rust, and dark brown. Um, for buckles, he has 11 different silver buckles and seven different brass buckles. Or you can get $5 removed from the price of your belt by selecting no buckle if you want to add your own. And it does have Chicago style screws, so you can always switch out your buckle later too if you want, which is cool. And for holes, you can choose either five, seven, nine, or 11. And you can space them either three quarters of an inch or an inch apart. And even after all that, you actually still have more choices. You can choose single thread stitching for a more flexible belt, or you can choose double thread stitching for a stiffer belt. And you can choose round holes or oval holes, and you can choose double round or double oval if you choose a buckle that has two bars on it. And he does have some photos in his gallery of that, and I do think that looks pretty awesome too. And lastly, if you order, it is super important for you to get the correct measurement for your belt. And he does have some sizing and measuring instructions on his website, and you do need to look at those and follow those in order to get a perfect fit. 
Uh, you may or may not have seen my Dissi Amerahide belt video, but how you measure to order for that belt is different than how you measure for Zach's belt. So again, you do need to look at Zach's sizing page if you decide to order. For one of Zach's gun belts, you take a belt that you normally wear and you measure from the very end of the buckle tongue to the hole that you normally use. For a quick comparison, I do have several types of belts listed on my website that I recommend and also that I've shown in videos. So a lot of people ask me what belt I like best. And for daily wear, I do currently rotate between my Crosstech belts, my Dissi Amerahide belts, and Zach's belt here. All of these belts are different, and I do wear different ones depending on my outfit since I have so many different colors. And I don't think one of them is best. Um, they're all great belts, it just depends on what you're looking for in terms of price, material, and options. Cross tack belts are nylon webbing with a tactical design in terms of material, hardware, and hidden pockets. I love these belts, but if you prefer leather or you work in a professional environment, these may not appeal to you. Now the Amerahide belts and Zach's belt are definitely more comparable. They're both made of leather and they're both great professional looking belts for everyday wear and concealed carry. I sort of think that an Amerahide belt has more of a factory feel, sort of like I picked it up off the shelf in a store if that makes sense, whereas Zach's belt has more of an artistic feel to it. And I think I feel that way first because I know the actual craftsman who made this belt, but also because all of my Amerahide belts look almost identical with pretty much zero flaws in the leather, whereas my belt from Zach does have a few small dings in the leather here and there. And um, I can't say for sure if the dings were there when I got it, but I will say that the particular color leather that I chose for this belt does feel a little softer than the leather on my Amerahide belt, so it does just seem to get dinged up a little easier, and I do think that it will require a little more special care than my other belts, just so I don't get more marks on it. Overall, I do tend to refer people to Dissi gear for their belts the most, based on price, and also the fact that they're what I'd consider to be a perfect, basic, everyday carry belt. But if you are willing to pay a little bit more money for a belt where everything is completely personalized, then I definitely recommend Zach's belts. This is a totally unique belt that should last me a really long time, and I absolutely love the way that it looks. Um, I also think that it would be really hard to find a belt that is customized as much as this one, since he lets you pick pretty much every single detail. So. Thank you so much, Zach. You do amazing work, and thanks everybody so much for watching. See you later.